क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन ऑफ योर वर्कबुक एक्सप्रेशन इज गिवन यू हैव टू फाइंड मिनिमाइज्ड पीओएस एक्सप्रेशन इफ यू विल नोटिस द ऑप्शन केयरफुली फर्स्ट थ्री ऑप्शन आर पीओएस लास्ट ऑप्शन इज एसओपी then this time it is very easy to decide whether we want to go for sop or we want to go for pos because in the question it is clearly written pos we are going for pos not by checking the options because options had both the format i am going for pos because in the question it was clearly written find minimized pos expression for the minimized pos expression for the minimized pos expression let me draw k map of three variables k map of three variables this is a this side is b and c i want to find pos product of sum so this would be b plus c b plus c complement b complement plus c complement b complement plus c pos this is a and this is a complement What are the cell numbers? Cell numbers are zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have to plot the max terms. In K map, we have to plot max terms because we are going by POS method. For max terms, directly max terms are not available. Directly max terms are not available. So first we have to find the min terms. Then we can calculate the max terms list. In min terms, this is zero zero zero. This one is zero one zero. This is one double zero. This is one one one. This is one one zero. So, what is the max terms list in increasing order? Zero comma two, comma four, comma six, comma seven. From the min terms, we can find out the max terms. All the missing number in the min term list will be your max term. This is max term one. This is max term three. This is max term five. We have only three max terms. Max term number one, three, and five. Now you can plot in this one one, three, and five. Max term one, max term three, max term five. Max term one, max term three, and max term five. Now, now we can make the grouping. Complete K map can be grouped using two pair. Now, final answer for both the pairs: this pair and this pair. This pair is very easy. B plus C complement is common. B plus C complement is common. This pair from this side A is common. From this side A is common, and from this side C complement is common. POS means individual term sum term. Individual term is sum term. POS means product of sum, multiplication of sum. Multiplication of sum means B plus C complement, A plus C complement. B plus C complement, A plus C complement. Option A is correct. Workbook question number eight. Function is given in the form of a table. Minimized expression we have to find. Options are given to you. So options is in the form of SOP. so we will use sop k map so to complete this structure sop k map b complement c complement b complement c b c b c complement this is a complement and a now cell numbers 0 1 2 3 4 now let me write the decimal number decimal 0 1 2 Three, four, five, six, seven. SOP means I have to plot min terms. So what are the min terms number? Min terms number are three, five, six, seven. Min terms number are three, five, six, seven. Min terms are three, five, six, seven. We can complete the K map using three pairs. We can complete the K map using three pairs. This pair is a dot c. This pair is a dot b, and this pair is b dot c. Just taking the common terms and writing here. 
This is SOP sum of product. Sum. Sum means AC plus BC plus AB. Sum of product terms option A is correct. So, looking the options, you have to decide whether you go for, whether you want to go for SOP or POS payment. Workbook question number nine. Simplified SOP form is this expression is given to you. Again, it is clearly given in the question. You want to find simplified SOP form. So, we want to use KMAP in SOP form. In SOP form, this side is P, this side is QR. So, variables will be Q complement, R complement, Q complement, R, Q, R and Q, R complement. This one is P complement and this one is P. P complement and P. Now, to find minimized SOP, I need to plot min terms. For minimized SOP, for minimized SOP, I need to plot min terms. From the expression, you can calculate the max terms. Then from max terms, we will get min terms. I will show you how. Max term number will be 0, 1, 1. Max term POS complement is 1. Complement is 1. Complement is 1. So what are the max terms number? 0, 1, 1 is 3. 0, 1, 0 is 2. 0, 0, 1 is 1. Question from the given expression of the question, from the given expression, we can calculate the max term. From max term, we can get list of the min terms 0, 4, 5, 6, 7. Min terms are 0, 4, 5, 6, 7. First, let me plot or first, let me write down all the cell numbers of the KMM. 0, 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7. Min terms number 0, 4, 5, 6, 7. 0, sorry, min terms I am plotting, not max term. 0, 4, 5, 6, 7. 0, 4, 5, 6, 7. Biggest group possible is the squared. After the squared, this pair will complete the k -man. After the quad, this pair will complete the k -man. So, this will be P and this will be Q complement, R complement. This is a very simple pair, Q complement, R complement. And this is also very simple group giving me expression P. Sum of product. Sum of product means we have to sum it. P sum Q complement, R complement. This is the correct answer for this question. Workbook question number 10. Function of P, Q, R, S. 4 variable. So, 2 to the power 4 that is 16 cells. So, first of all make a K map of 4 variable. So, 16 cells will be there. Now, at one side we have PQ, at other side we have RS. What one new thing I want you to learn here is that first I have to plot the given function, then I have to make groups and then I have to find the minimized answer. Till now what we have learned, if I have to plot this PQ, I used to find out min terms number by the shortcut. And then from the min terms number, I will plot the K map and then I will start grouping. What I want now, we should be able to plot this PQ directly on this K map. First, what we used to do, I am doing that. Then what we are expected to do, I will change to that also. So for example, PQ is the term. PQ means P is equal to 1, Q is equal to 1, RS not given. RS not given means 4 combination will be there for RS. 4 combinations for RS but PQ is, PQ is fixed. 
min terms number will be 12 13 14 and 15 then what we will do one by one i will number all the cells one by one i will number all the cells then i will try then what i will do after filling the cell numbers i will plot 12 13 14 15 at the cell numbers 12 13 14 15 we will plot min terms that is 1 but instead of that but instead of that i don't want you to solve all these steps see minimal sop form is asked so first i will make the structure for sop form so this side is pq so this is p complement q complement p complement q pq and pq complement r complement s complement r complement s r s r s complement now pq c where what all cells are corresponding to pq that we should know this is your term pq so pq means these four min terms and if you will check these are your min terms 12 13 14 15 only so rather than going from this step i want you to draw pq directly looking at this expression I will tell you the same thing in the next example also. P complement Q R. See, P complement Q. P complement Q means this one. P complement Q. Along with P complement Q, what is common? R is common. So, P complement Q and R means this also and this also. So, intersection of this row with these two columns. Intersection of this second row with last two columns will give you 1 and 1. Same thing we will get if I go by shortcut of min terms method. P complement QR. P complement QR. P is equal to 0, Q is equal to 1, R is equal to 1, S is not given. So this will give me 0, 1, 1, 0 and 0, 1, 1 that is 6 and 7. 6 and 7. This is cell number 6 and 7 only you can check. So I don't want you to go following this step. I want you to learn see this PQ plot this PQ. See this P complement QR plot this P complement QR. So there should be no need there should be no need to follow these steps. This is the thing which we are expected to learn. P complement Q, R complement S. P complement Q, R complement S. See, this is your min term. This one. P complement Q, R complement S. So, these four min terms corresponding to PQ, these two min terms corresponding to P complement QR, and this min term corresponding to P complement Q, R complement S. This we should know. Now, I have I have plotted this function on my k map. I have plotted this function on my k map. Now you see. Now I will start making the groups. This squared is the best possibility. Apart from this squared, this squared is also the best possibility. And finally, this squared is also the best possibility. So, these three quads are the best possible groups for this k map. Now, let us start writing the answer. This simplest quad, this horizontal line is PQ. This left hand side quad, left hand side quad, Q is common from this side. Left hand side quad, S is common from this side right hand side quad right hand side quad right hand side quad see this one from this side q is common q is common and this right hand side quad r is common r is common sum of 
एस ओ पी एस ओ पी फॉर्म सम इज इंपॉर्टेंट सम ऑफ क्यू एस एंड क्यू आर प्लस पी क्यू एस ओ पी सम ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट फॉर्म प्रोडक्ट इंडिविजुअल टर्म्स आर प्रोडक्ट टर्म्स वी हैव समड द प्रोडक्ट टर्म्स सम ऑफ प्रोडक्ट दिस इज द फाइनल एंसर वर्क बुक क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन फंक्शन इज गिवन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ मैक्स टर्म लिस्ट इक्वेलेंट मिनिमाइज रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज वॉट वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट सी वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम विद दिस क्वेश्चन two options are in standard sorry two options are of pos form two options are of sop form let's say i started with sop form and the correct option is sop sorry let's say i started with sop and the correct answer is of pos form then i will have to make pos k map also see the situation For example, I started with SOP K map, but my answer did not matched. Why did why it did not matched? Because the correct answer is in the POS form. Then what I will have to do? I will have to do I will have to draw POS K map also. So in this case, I will need to draw two K maps. I may need to draw two K map. If I am lucky. i will get in the first attempt but if i am not lucky i will have to make a second attempt to solve this question means double time to solve the same question double time to solve a same question so what alternate we can do here we can just try to reverse solve the question with the help of the option we can try to reverse solve the question from the options this is very easy procedure see how see first of all what you should try to understand is that let's say you consider option b how many min terms do you see in this term first term i just want you to tell me number of min terms number of min terms is 2 why because b is missing you will introduce b as well as b complement in this one so number of min terms in this single term is 2 same way number of min terms in this second term is also 2 because c is missing you will have to introduce c as well as c complement so there are four min terms exactly in the same way exactly in the same way there are two max term since b is missing so i will introduce b and b complement both there are two max terms in this term because c is missing so i will introduce c and c complement also it contain four it contain four max terms it contain four min terms it contains four max terms it contains four min terms this is two min terms these are two more min terms four min terms this contain two max terms these are two more max terms so it represents four max terms these two represent a function with four number of max terms these two represent a function with four number of min terms now see what now see what the question is given to you how many max terms are here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 question contains 12 max terms out of the 16 combination 12 are max terms so obviously four are min terms from this four min terms what i can conclude from this 12 max terms and four min terms given in the question from this 12 max terms and four min terms given in the condition given in the question from this conclusion i can conclude 
ऑप्शन ए एंड ऑप्शन सी आर नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज ऑप्शन ए एंड ऑप्शन सी कंटेन्स फोर मैक्स टर्म्स ओनली बट बी एंड सी कंटेन्स फोर मिन टर्म्स बी और सी मे बी द करेक्ट एंसर बी और सी मे बी द करेक्ट एंसर देन वॉट आई विल ट्राई टू डू फ्रॉम यर आई विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द मिन टर्म्स लिस्ट फ्रॉम यर आई विल ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट द मिन टर्म्स लिस्ट जीरो वन टू इज मिसिंग थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स इज मिसिंग सेवन एट इज मिसिंग नाइन टेन इज मिसिंग इलेवन ट्वेल्व थर्टीन फोर्टीन फिफ्टीन दिस इज योर मिन टर्म्स लिस्ट नाउ वन ऑफ द फंक्शन बी और सी will have the same min terms list one of the function will have same min terms list let me calculate a is equal to 1 b is not given c is equal to 0 d is equal to 1 1 001 is 9 1101 is 13 it is not matching with the min term list 26810 this min terms list is not matching with 26810 Option B cannot be the correct answer. Option A cannot be correct. Option D cannot be correct. Option B cannot be correct. It has to be option C. But let me check it. Let me check it. A is equal to zero. B is not given. C is equal to one. D is equal to zero. Zero zero one zero is two. Zero one one zero is six. Two and six. It is matching till now. One zero one zero. It is ten. It is again matching till now. One triple zero. It is eight. It is again matching. So option C is option C is min terms two six eight ten, which is exactly matching with the min terms list of the given function in the question. So option C has to be the correct answer. so in this way if you will go it will take very less time even less than 30 seconds you will be able to solve the complete question so because the options were two options were pos form two options were sop form i was in a dilemma which k map should i go instead what i opted for is to one by one check the options and then you can notice i did not need to find min terms or max terms number of option a and option d they were eliminated before only so you just need to check this one in this also you eliminated option b in the first calculation only so a is not correct b is not correct d is not correct c is correct this much confidence you should have in the examination if three options are not correct fourth option <laughs> should be the correct answer if you have such confidence you will save lot of time option c is correct workbook question number 12 number of min terms after minimizing the following boolean expression is this boolean expression is given to us we have to find number of min terms how many min terms number of min terms in this question is how many min terms fill in the blanks question so how many min terms are there in this given function so first i will try to analyze d complement plus ab complement plus a complement c plus ac complement d plus a complement c complement d then after this there is a whole complement of the function after this there is whole complement of the function it means this is the given question this whole complement is given question now except the whole complement let me find out the min terms number or ignoring the whole complement let me find out the min terms number see here this is d complement so a is not given b is not given c is not given d is zero now this much calculation you must be having last bit is zero means it is confirm it is an even number then all the other combinations are possible all the other combinations are possible you should directly be able to write d complement corresponds to all the even number of min terms 
For example, it will correspond to 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 is obviously not possible. So, 14 is the last mentor. If you want a justification, this will give me, see, 3 don't care means 8 combination. 3 don't care, 3 don't care means 8 combination. Last bit is 0. Last bit is 0. 3 don't care means 8 combinations. Last bit is 0. So, you can calculate the numbers. The numbers will be 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. That's what I have written here. Next one. A, B complement. A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0, C and D are don't care. So, this will give me 1 triple 0 is 8, 1 0 0 1 is 9, 1 0 1 0 is 10, 1 0 1 1 is 11. Now, consider this one. A is equal to 0, B is not given, C is equal to 1, D is not given. 0 0 1 0 is 2, 0 0 1 1 is 3, 0 1 1 0 is 6, 0, 1, 1, 1 is 7. These are the four min terms. Now check for this one. A is equal to 1, B is not given, C is equal to 0, D is equal to 1. 1, double 0, 1 is 9. 1, sorry, only 1 don't care. So only two possibilities. 1, double 0, 1 is 9. 1, 1, 0, 1 is 13. Now the last possibility. A is equal to 0, B is not given, C is equal to 0, D is equal to 1. Single don't care means two combinations. Triple 0, 1 is 1, 0, 1, 0, 1 is 5. Now please see, if I, if I combine all the min terms, see this whole complement is obviously present, <laughs> whole complement is obviously present here. So this whole complement, summation min terms, please see. 0 is present, I have to combine all the min terms, I have to combine all the min terms, 0 is present, 1 is present, 2 is present, 3 is present, 4 is present, 5, then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is present, 13 is present, 14 is present. What I want to conclude here is that, what I want to conclude here is that this function was given to me. This function is equal to summation m 0 to 14 complement. This is equal to summation m 0 to 14 complement. Same thing. This is complement, complement whole bar. It will give me summation m 15. It means the given question, the given expression is simply summation m 15. Given expression is simply summation m 15. So, how many min terms are there in the function? There is only one min term that is min term number 15. So answer of this question is 1. This expression which was given to me is equivalent to this one, which is summation m 15. So, how many min terms are there in the function? Only one min term is there. 